Oh, great. She locked the key out when she tried to use it. I'm gonna have to report it to security to get it reactivated. See? Easy. We just go straight for the top. Hey there, Bloody Meow, Blade Kitten, and we are in level four, which is our breaker key has been locked out due to too many incorrect password entries because Justice Bleach Bond Bimbo didn't know what she was doing. So now that we got the breaker key back, we need it to be unlocked by security, um, and that is going to involve us getting to the very top of this security station. And uh, the problem is that we have no idea how we're going to easily get there. So. Uh, Let's uh, find a way, shall we? And grab them on! Jeez, that's hard to grab onto. Whew. All right, Kit, think about it. Think about this. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> and beautiful music. Just give a listen. Nice! Just absolutely gorgeous music. It's not like goofy or, or anything like that. It's like, it's just like magical. Yeah, this looks like a bit of a problem. I'm gonna need to find another way in. Yeah, looks like we're not going in there anytime soon, but uh, maybe Skip can help. Go on, boy. Ah, an escape hatch down below. Come on! Alright, we could try to make it over there, but that's a pretty deadly combination, that slope. Too uh, large to jump and uh, way too many to, to handle, so uh, let's sneak down in the back, All right? shall we? And, uh, looks like, oh, that'd be nice to have, wouldn't it? Nice. Huh. All right, let's go. Infiltration. So what I like about this, what I've been talking about before, is that the green arrows will tell you if you, what way you need to go. Any other way is probably going to lead to some goodies. Ding. As you can see, my, uh, I don't want to call it yen, my, um, hex is extremely low. Only 26,000. And that's because, uh, oh yeah, I'm sludged here by uh, icon down the health. <laughs> Uh, that's because I bought the final stamina, which uh, gives me um, 200 stamina, the max you can have. So now it's time for health and uh, blade. But the next thing I'm going to do is upgrade my blade, just for fun. So I have to use a different blade other than free blade. Because right now I have none. And use a D-pad to switch between the blades. So this is where you need to go. So that's the way we're not going to go, right? Right. Hmm. Not right, easy enough. Aha! Now we can get over there. Well, we better do that before we forget, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's just check out what we're doing, and uh, let's uh, head back on outside to get our treasure chest. And a whole bunch of hex. Definitely worth it. And once again, this music's so majestic. That's a good word for it. Majestic. Eloquent. Close down. We need to get back in after all. They thought about everything, didn't they? <laughs> all right. I think uh, we need to go down yet. Could we turn the wind off, right? There's really something good here. Yeah, hello. I like you, treasure chest. Bonus. And it looks like I got a checkpoint by doing that too. Judging by the sound, I think. I don't know. But um, one thing I do like is I don't know this game and, and this game and it could be it could other games too. But uh, this uh this game is uh, I don't know it's like a game that I would design. Not necessarily maybe the characters, although I do like Blake Kitten and the characters. It's it's funny. They're charming, like I said. 
but um, thank you. It's the way that you know you can just they can just put secrets. They can just input plant secrets and, and exploration everywhere. And uh, it's a fun 2D, definitely a 2D third person. It's definitely my style. I like that better than any first person I've ever played. I love third person. I love seeing my character for some reason. I love being able to change the armor, gear, outfit of, of said character. I mean, this is everything that I want. So uh, I do enjoy that. That's always nice. So uh, we made it. We, we snuck our way all the way back up. We're on the other side of this place. And, uh, what do we get for it? Not too much. But, hey, this is 3,000 right here. I don't know. I guess that's kind of why I really like it. And as I was playing it again, because Episode 2 came out, I was like, you know what? I just really wish I could share this with other people, you know? And, uh, that's kind of where this was born from. And I'm pretty content about it. I'm glad I finally decided just to do it. It's cool. Um... I thought about the dangers of Let's Playing this because it's a little bit repetitive, a little bit backtracky, but you know what? I enjoy it the whole way through, so. If I enjoy it, someone else will. If they don't, well then, whatever. I don't remember where I went. I think I went up here and I went up, so I need to go right the whole way. Because this is not the way to go, so this is the way we want to go, right? Right. Get it? Because we're going right. Excuse me, guys. I need a treasure chest. Thank you. Sweet. And the lovely uh, magnifying look, so you can tell where you are in the uh, level. Kind of always nice effect. All right, and we went this way, correcto? Oh, oh yeah, this is where the goldfish was. That's correct. Okay, I think we're ready to go to the real way for now. That's, like I said, I, you know, if there's two doors, one on the left, or three doors, one on the left, one on the right, and a big central door on the, on the in the center double doors looks fancy I will always go to the center door last and I'll go to the left door first and then the right door I'll go to the one that looks least important first that's how I work in games and uh, like I said this game feeds my my uh, exploration lust quite nicely it looks so cool look how ac uh, acrobatic she is look at that that's so neat oh until that happens oh god okay be careful it's a one-hit kill. If not, it, it hurts really bad. Just for one green guy. Are you serious? All right. Give me it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. So pleasant sounding. Hey, Missile Boy. You want to play? Let's do it. Bye-bye. Let's do this. Part of me. Do we want to go down there? Oh! <laughs> I guess it's not fatal, but it hurts. Look at this. This is cool. <laughs> Very awesome. It just satisfies that old school um, 2D feel, man. That's just I don't know why. I just it's just so much passion for this game. It's just weird. I don't know why. It's, it's one of my favorite indie games actually I've ever played. It really is, and I'm just really sad that not much people, not many people heard of it. It really makes me sad. I don't I don't like that. So skip. Go get him. Here, skiff. Here, boy. That's baby boo in another world. <laughs> the hell am I talking about? Alright, let's go. Insert cutscene. What are you doing down here? The solos will freak if they catch you. Oh, that doesn't worry me too much. Just nice little, you know, just little pieces of, of, of you know, dialogue. It's always nice. Um, what's funny is that Kit's voice... I don't know if it was back then or if it was for because it came out for the, I think, the Xbox 360 arcade and the uh, PlayStation Network first, um, not the PC. Um, her voice was a lot deeper, and all the sound effects were deeper, too. It's weird. You can find it on videos that were uploaded, like, in 2012 of this game. And what's this now? 2015? Holy shit. Um, it's just, um, I don't know, it's interesting that they, they, they uh... I don't know what choice they did, but I like her. I definitely like everything high pitched a lot better, and uh, I really think that the Steam version is the definitive version for sure. And by Steam, I mean PC version. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a PC. I'm the PC guy, but it really just—I mean, come on, a lot of frame rate, all this junk. I mean, come on. 
Yeah, just trying to find... Get away from me. I don't want any trouble. The exit. <sighs> I bet he's great fun on a date. Anybody with that voice, I would. I feel sorry if you have a high-pitched whining voice, man. <laughs> no offense to high-pitched whining voice people, but... I'm, I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling you. Although, I guess I'm not. I don't know. I think my voice is kind of deep, so... So you... You stop, man! You stop! It's deep. But, uh... You could go high, too, I guess! Oh, God. Stop. Please, never again. Although, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's to my roots, man. Back... Back and I want to be the guy in Donkey Kong Country, man. Freaking high-pitched all the way. And, you know, I can still get like that, depending on what makes me fucking react to it, but... I don't know. I've kind of grown in that sense, if grown means playing Blade Kitten while we're talking about it. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I like this, uh, I like my, uh, current, uh, way, my current pathos of, of talking while playing games, if you will. Yes. Thanks for blowing that up, buddy. I appreciate it. Because, uh, I don't think we're going to go too far right here. No. Let's, uh, head down here first. Only a girl. Now, one thing is that, you know, there isn't many, uh, combatants. They're all kind of these soldiers, but they do, there's some variety. A tiny bit. <laughs> a very teensy weensy bit, so. I believe I did not get this secret, because if you go down there, it's a, uh, point of no return, because it, well, the green arrow. The green arrow shows that, so, uh, instead, let's, uh, go this direction. Ooh, a data disc, nice. Hope I don't die up here. This is kind of scary. Oh, breakable wall, cool, man. Oh, watch its kit. You could get squished. Oh, you could get squished! Yep. You can get squished. Damn, man. Don't do that again. Watch it. Watch it. Alright, be, don't be stupid this time and go the right way. <laughs> Ow, fucking bitch. Yes, hazard. <laughs> I don't want to go too far this way. I don't know when this ends, so we'll just uh, ride the... Uh, oh, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, this is ridiculous. Cool. Hey! Oh, hey! What's this? Nice! Careful, don't want to go to a point of no return. I hate those. Where am I? Damn, son. <laughs> yeah, okay. Interesting. This is neat. But uh, let's get a reward, shall we? Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Don't want to die. The checkpoint is all the way back there. All right. Gotcha. Bonus. Definitely, definitely never got that one before. Holy shit. <laughs> Problem is, though, is that now I need to reverse this again, and I don't think I can. Can you? No. Oh, the laser stopped. Oh, okay, that's fine. That works. We, just need, we need to do a... Yes! Wow! Look at this! <laughs> cool! Never in my time playing this game, and I beat this game once and played through it like one more time slightly, I think. Um, this would be my third time playing through the game. Although, I, like, once again, I've never played any of Episode 2. Oh, look at that! Oh, shit! It released a warp! So freaking nice. awesome, man. That's why episode playing episode two is gonna be fun because it's gonna be blind. <laughs> Even though I already know I already know the game. Where is this gonna take me? Dude. And an arrow pointing down. Okay. Whoa! Neat. Nice.
This is a substantial secret. Ooh. I don't think we want to go down there. There is nothing good down there. I don't believe. <laughs> and there's no checkpoint, so yeah, we don't want to go down there, no. Let's do this instead. That is fun. Freaking amazing secret, man. This is all unessential. Just love it. Oh shit! That could kill. That could kill very quick. Okay, be careful, careful. Data disc. Wow. I always thought there was a lot of those things and I never would find any of them. That's because I wasn't looking hard enough, I guess. Man. Oh shit. Okay, good. I want that red one. Give me it. Very unworth it red one. Oh shit! Damn it! That's okay. I bet that led back. That's fine. I bet that led back. No problem. I got all my I got all the trinkets. I got all the data disc, right? Yep, six out of thirty. Good. You collect all the big major things and all the hexes you get. So that's good. So we'll leave. We're done. And point of no return, right there. Point of no return. That's what I mean. It's like it's hard to tell sometimes. Alright, let's be careful. So not only that you just have to you have to hurry, but you also have to kind of take your time because uh, you could easily screw yourself over if you're not uh, quick enough. If you're not, if you're too fast. I mean. Ouch. Okay, cool. Pardon me. I have no time for you. No time! Bonus. You're honestly still alive down here, aren't you? Jesus. Get out of here. You know what? I think I'll just bypass this. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no thanks. I see something up here. Huh. Come on, grab it. There we go. Oh, the music! So which way is the real way to go? Oh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> it really is sometimes. Because sometimes you can link back to the real way, going a completely uh, secret way. It's very confusing sometimes. But this looks right. Ouch. That's fine. Sweet. We saw that treasure chest a long time ago. Damn. That linked back. Jeez. So much gold. Actually, we can buy something now. Let's do that. Big sale today. So see, I bought the uh, Gubu Juice, <laughs> which is the highest stamina. So let's just get the next play. We'll just go in order instead of like usually I pick Grangus and all that junk. But let's um, yeah, they keep getting higher and higher and higher. So let's go ahead and buy uh, Gladion, a light and nibble free blade. Attacks twice as fast and has longer range. Okay. Well, that special order import, last one in stock. Oh, all right. No more talking. Thanks, you stereotypical person. Um, blades, and you see, free blade, you got skills, which I'm not totally sure what they all mean, but there's critical, break, slam, or charge, and multiply. Critical is, uh, I think, just, you know, critical strikes. Break is how much, how easily you can break their guard, so as you can see, if they block all my attacks, I have low break. Uh, slam is that slam move, how strong it is, how much area effect it is. Recharge is important. How quickly your stamina recharges. I think not only just when you do moves with your blade, but when you run and do other things. And multiply? I'm not entirely sure, but this has higher multipliers, so uh, we'll use it. And it has a different critical move, too, so that's fun. And uh, you can switch it on the fly with D-pad. And there's a voiceover for every single one, which is just cool, you know? Oh, I like how fast this moves, man. Cool. Maybe multiply just shows, means, like, how many times it can, like, warp or something, you know? Oh, hey, this is worth a hit. Thank you. Cool. All right, let's go. Definitely worth it. And uh, these red guys are definitely worth it too. All right. Yeah, that music changes quickly. <laughs> Even when a little exploding shroom happens, the music goes back to uh, rock and roll. It's fun. 
And like honestly, this game is like definitely it's it's definitely like you know I think it's I would say this is probably I don't know T definitely because comic mischief probably and maybe some um, sexual language here and there like innuendo language probably but uh, it's not M or anything but I, w I wouldn't mind if the game was M I think I'd like it more probably but it's definitely not like you know toddler <laughs> there's definitely some uh, references that uh, can be definitely regarded. Ooh, that's hot. Don't touch it. Alright, can you tell me how to get out of here, lady? Or a person? A man? This is no place for a young girl like you. Go out and play in the sun. Young? Shucks you say the sweetest thing. 